Hey there folks, Gary Bradley here from Creative Frontiers and in this video I'm going to show you how you can draw more attention to a subject inside of an image using an adjustment layer. If this is your first time visiting and you want to learn best practice techniques to create killer artwork then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss a thing. So here I'm starting with the, uh, the source image, a field of pumpkins, very topical for October and Halloween. So I'm going to make one of these pumpkins keep in full colour and then I'm going to turn the rest into grayscale. Now to do that I am going to switch to my magnetic lasso tool in order to create a selection of one of these pumpkins. Set the mode at the top of that to new, uh, feather to zero, anti-alias turned on. And then in terms of the width and the contrast and frequency, well, um, the size here is the width. And I'm going to zoom in to the edge of the pumpkin in here. And I think actually that the width in there is, is absolutely fine for this. So I'll leave that set to 22 pixels. Contrast, I'm going to keep that set to 50%. Some areas will have greater contrast, but we'll see how it works. Frequency, well, to be perfectly honest, frequency, um, I always leave at 100, which is the maximum value. It has a default of 52. And that essentially is the bigger the number, closer together the fastening points are, the lower the number, the further the way they are for each fastening point. I just tend to find it's quicker to work with a higher frequency number in there. So as I say, left to 100. And then I'll hover my cursor over the edge of the pumpkin and then click and uh, start this selection process. And then holding nothing down, I will then just hover along the edge of the pumpkin. Now, I might just speed this up so you, you're not um, hindered by having to watch me do this really slowly on screen. And I'm literally just working along the edge of the pumpkin in here. And you see, I mean, the um, the magnetic lasso tool has been around for ages and it still does a really good job. So to be perfectly honest, I quite often go back to the uh, magnetic lasso tool to create my selections especially for silhouettes and things like that where you, I want to create the outer edge of a selection. Now I'm not going to worry too much about you know the small details that I don't quite pick up. I'm most keen on just getting the main bit of the pumpkin inside of a selection in here because I'm going to be using a black and white adjustment and it will be to a large degree fairly forgiving and then back up to my original start point along the edge of the pumpkin up here which is just here. And then my cursor changes back into the icon of the magnetic lasso tool and then I'll left click. If you can't find that point, double left click and then it will force the tool to connect the uh, the start and the end point to that selection. And if I zoom out, um, there we go. I, you know, I've, it's, as, it's as accurate as I really need it to be at this point. Um, and then from here, I need to apply my adjustment. So I'll go to the window menu, then go down to adjustments, click on there, open up the adjustments panel. And then from the adjustments, middle row, center icon in there, which is the box, which is half black, half white, I'll apply a black and white adjustment. That will, of course, apply an adjustment to the selected content, which is not what I want in this case. I want the viewer's eye to be drawn to this one pumpkin. So all you do then is in the properties panel that then appears on screen when you apply an adjustment. Note the controls to edit the uh, black and white adjustment, but the mask. And if I click on the masking icon in there, you have a series of buttons, not always visible, I might add, because if I just pull this up a little bit, you can't see that invert button in there. So if you don't see it, it is the one that's right at the bottom in there. And if I click on invert, now what it will do is it will reverse that uh, effect in there. So I'm now left with a pumpkin that stands out better, a whole lot better from the other pumpkins in the image. If I just zoom out here and then from here, I will go back to my black and white adjustment options. And then, then uh, essentially what you have is a series of color coded sliders in here and you can then brighten or darken uh, the parts of the image in grayscale according to what they originally were before you added this adjustment in here. So many of these are going to fall under the red and the yellow spectrum in here. So if I drag these along here, I can brighten up those uh, those warm colors in the image. If I drag it towards the left hand side, that slider, I will darken those colors down. So you can play around with those. You can increase and decrease the yellows and the reds in there and wh whatever's relevant for your particular image. You could also go to the preset menu and you could try something that is uh, really severe, like maximum black in here. And it is a very intense look, but who knows, you know, it might work. Um, you could always go to the other options and then try something not quite so severe, darker, and you get that kind of effect. 
But at the end of the day, this is all stored in the layers panel. So you could go to the window menu down here to layers. And then in the layers panel, you will notice that um, we have the black and white adjustment here. If I turn that off for the visibility, we go back to the original image. It is not a destructive edit. And we see the icon here. As long as your thumbnails, if I just hover over an empty portion in here, is set to um, at least medium, you will get um, the icon that looks just like the one in the adjustments panel. If it's set to small, they'll all appear as a generic um, adjustments icon in there. But if I right click and then choose medium thumbnail size, we ha also have uh, a layer mask in here. So um, black conceals, white reveals an effect. That's what we've got here. And um, at any, I say, any time you can go back and adjust this, if you wanted to, you could go down to the uh, target adjustment tool, left click on that, and then hover over part of the image and click and hold down and drag left or right to darken the colors where you have just dragged over in there to adjust that on the image as well, if you prefer to do that kind of thing. So I'm actually gonna go back to the severe option here, of maximum black. There we have it, folks. That is how you can create an effect that draws the viewer's eye closer to the subject. Um, maybe you want to add some text to it. Maybe you just um, want to create a focal point. That can really help with an adjustment layer, leaving one item in color and then turning everything else into grayscale. Thanks for watching, folks. As always, if you uh, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can always subscribe. And until next time, farewell.